Hello friends, James Stevenson back with a quick video about Tesla's market share in California, which is the number one selling state in the U.S., and the U.S. is Tesla's number one market globally. So it is important to know how Tesla is doing in that market. You may have heard that Tesla has lost like 10 points worth of market share because the competition is coming, right? So I thought it would be cool to dig into those numbers and see what's really going on. Shout out to Ray for Tesla, who was the first person I saw citing this source. Uh, Loki is on assignment in Warnambool. So I'll just dive right into the California New Car Dealers Association report here. I would say the data here gets an A, and the presentation of that data gets a C plus. Uh, I think they can do better on uh, displaying the information they have collected uh, in this report. Maybe they have some vested interest in not making the picture very clear what's going on in the market in California. I mean, there's plenty of mention of Tesla and the Model Y being the number one selling vehicle in this report. Uh, but uh, as you can see here, California uh, has a 21.5% battery electric vehicle market share. So more than one out of every five vehicles sold in California so far this year. So we're talking about year-to-date Q3 2023. So that's January through September combined sales. Then what's this one telling us? 7.4% of the U.S. BEV market share. So in California, 21.5% of the cars sold are battery electric vehicles, but across the entire U.S., only 7.4% of vehicles sold are battery electric vehicles. And 34.8 is the California share of U.S. BEV registrations. So more than one out of every three battery electric vehicles sold in the U.S. is sold in California. Kind of interesting. And then this page, believe it or not, is where the data comes from for the charts that we're going to look at later today. Uh, some people prefer looking at the data as numbers in a table. Most people would rather see it visualized as a chart of some variety. Uh, and I'm not talking about this data down here, but you can see most of this gray bar here. That's Tesla sales. They've labeled it as direct, but how many other automakers are selling direct? Like Rivian? Okay, they're, they're pretty small. Mostly these numbers are Tesla. Okay, so I'm going to dispense with this report, and I'll show you how I have moved the data into a spreadsheet here. So this is my cute little spreadsheet where I have reorganized the data to show the brands in descending order by registrations year-to-date Q3 2023. So if you were to rank all of these brands in terms of how many battery electric vehicle registrations did they have in California so far this year, year-to-date September, that's what order these are presented in. So a total of almost 300,000 uh, battery electric vehicles have been sold so far this year uh, a year ago, it was less than 185,000, so that's a really decent increase, a 58.3% increase. Tesla's increase was only 38.5%, so Tesla is increasing at a lesser rate than the market in, uh, in total is. So, for example, Chevrolet here has increased by 168%, from about 5,000 to about 15,000, right? So these numbers are still pretty small compared to the numbers Tesla put up a year ago, right? Uh, they're still selling maybe one-ninth as many vehicles as Tesla sold a year ago, right? So when do you lose market share? You lose market share when in the prior year your competitors were doing very poorly and this year they're not doing as bad. <laughs> That's that's going to result in a loss of market share, right? Uh, so you can see uh, over here we have market share. So last year, Tesla was at 71.8. Now they're only at 62.9. They only have almost two-thirds of the market 
in California for battery electric vehicles, if you're going to subdivide it to be only the battery electric vehicle market, then yes, the share is falling. But if you look at it in terms of total units sold, Tesla's units have increased by more than 50,000. Uh, you can see the number right there. That's the increase year over year. Nobody else increased their vehicles year over year by even 10,000. So Tesla has increased by five times more uh, than the closest competitor has increased by Mercedes-Benz and Chevrolet uh, and BMW, I guess, are all increasing by about 9,000. Uh, and almost nobody else is. Like, it gets, it gets pretty thin after that. And some of these automakers are actually losing battery electric vehicle sales year over year. Porsche, Mini, Mazda, GMC, and Jaguar. All right, so let's look at some charts. Uh, I did tweet these out. Let me just go to my Twitter window, I guess. I think I still have a Twitter window open, don't I? Don't I? Uh, yes, here it is. Okay, so I'll make this window bigger. So it fills the whole screen. That's a little cleaner. I'll just read it to you. I decided to have some fun plotting the market share reported by the California New Car Dealers Association for year-to-date 2023 versus the same time frame last year. Note, it's fun to arrow back and forth quickly between the two pie charts if you can figure out how to do so on your device. I actually can't figure out how to do it quickly on my device, this PC. Uh, but here's the chart for uh, year-to-date Q3 2022. This is the prior year data. When Tesla still had 71.8% of the market, you can see everybody else, uh, you know, has less than 5% a piece. Then if you fast forward that uh, to see how we're doing this year, Tesla's market share is down to less than 63%. Oh, no. Uh, and one of Tesla's competitors has broken 5% market share this year, and it's Chevrolet, and it's mostly Bolts that they're selling that are uh, helping them do so well. Uh, I will pay off what it looks like. Let me hit my control page down button here. So you can flip back and forth between these two really quick like this, and it makes a fun Pac-Man munching animation, uh, which is fun for the kids. Uh, so there you go, 2022 versus 2023. What's the key takeaway here? It's that Tesla's doing just fine <laughs> both years. Don't worry about it. Uh, Tesla's doing great. It's hard to own more than half of the sales. Uh, most companies don't do that. So I'll X out of that and show you the next tweet in my thread here. It's only a two-tweet thread. Uh, pie charts like the ones above can be deceptive because each pie chart indexes against itself. And then I explain what I meant when I said that. Pie charts typically add up to 100%, no matter how large or small the total is or how much the totals change over time. So what's deceptive about looking at these? You think Tesla's sales are in decline when you look at the two pie charts. You say, oh no, it was 72%, now it's 62%. Tesla lost 10 points worth of share. Uh, well, only if you're looking at it as the California battery electric vehicle market share and you don't look at the total units sold. Uh, a casual observer looking only at the charts above might think Tesla sales are declining when in fact Tesla registrations in California grew by more than five times more than the nearest competitors did. We just looked at that in the table. Uh, but I also made a chart uh, to illustrate, here's another way of viewing the same data. So here's how much Tesla sales grew by. They grew from 130,000 to more than 180,000. So Tesla sales are up by 51,000 uh, vehicles year over year. So far, it'll grow to more than that by the end of the year. And what I've put alongside it, instead of everybody else stacked together, uh, they wouldn't be as high as either of these two bars, even if I stacked them all here, you know, all 20 of them or however many there are. What I'm doing instead is showing the nearest competitor. So it's Chevrolet. They're the closest. 
A year ago they sold about 5,000 vehicles. This year they sold about 15,000 vehicles. And that's how they grew by 168%, right? Uh, and then over here, what I've shown as a comparison is the average competitor. How is Tesla's average competitor doing? Well, they're up from about 2,500 to about 5,000 uh, vehicles sold over the first nine months of 2023. And this is what Tesla is losing share to. They're losing share to two dozen uh, competing brands uh, that are selling, you know, 2,000 more vehicles so far this year than they sold last year, while Tesla is up more than 50,000 vehicles. That's a better way of looking at it, I think. Uh, so that's this chart. Uh, and if I hover over these, you can see how many uh, vehicles there are exactly if you've got a really high-def screen, and you can read that. <laughs> I could have put the labels on here. I decided to just put the uh, labels on the y-axis here so you can see, hey, everybody else is below the 20,000 line. Look how far above the 20,000 line Tesla is. They're nine times higher uh, than the closest competitor, more than that. So it's not close. Tesla's in the lead by a lot. And I'll make another video about another way of visualizing some different data uh, from this report next. But for now, we're done. Uh, so with that, I will outro and say if you've enjoyed today's video, click the like button. If you're not subscribed to my channel already, uh, why not go ahead and subscribe to my channel? You can do that on YouTube for free if you're watching me on YouTube right over here or on Patreon for $4.20 per month, or on X for $3 per month, which is only $0.69 cents per week. Thank you to everyone who supports me, especially my executive producers, Kathy Kitchler and Rebellionaire.com, and I'll see you in the next one.